Hello, in the next minute you're going to learn how to create much more realistic shadows with better colouring. And there's a trick to this and we're doing it in Adobe Illustrator. And before we start, me and my brother have a second channel, so if you'd like to show us some love, I'll leave a link below the like button. Rightio, first select your background and then double click the colour picker. Copy the six digit reference for this colour with Command or Control C and then select your object, go to Effect, Stylize and Drop Shadow. Customise your shadow, give it an offset, make it hard, soft, whatever you like. Once you're happy, you can select darkness. You can reduce this value, uh, but it does look a bit rubbish. As you can see, pretty terrible. So just my opinion, I'd go to Colour, click the Colour Picker, and then paste in that six digit reference for your colour. And the shortcut is Command or Control V. Now the multiply mode looks pretty snazzy. We're gonna to switch to normal, and to the surprise of absolutely no one, everything's disappeared. So let's click the Colour Picker and drag our cursor circle selecting thing over to the right. Eh, a bit subtle. Let's try again, move it right a bit and down a lot. And this is pretty much it. Move it right for more saturation, down to reduce the lightness, and you can even adjust the hue ever so slightly to get a more realistic result. So we've done all this without blending modes. You can of course add blending modes if you'd like to bump it up a bit more. Play with the opacity to adjust the strength and when you're happy click OK. This effect is then listed over on the right hand side. You can edit it, delete it or just sit back and enjoy your new shadow. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and have an absolutely cracking day. Take care and I'll see you next time.